hi scorpio welcome back guys i hope you all are doing well this evening okay um let's tap into your energy let's see all right just take what resonates leave what doesn't fit okay and just flip and switch the roles guys this is for um anybody with scorpio placements in their chart okay um make sure you guys are watching out for the scammers down below in the comment section if the name is not highlighted it is not me commenting i mean or replying to your comment if there are anybody uh, any other fake pages reaching out to you on any other platform it is not me my handles to my pages are going to be down in the description box below okay so let's see what is going on for my scorpios messages for scorpio spirit <clears throat> messages for Scorpio damn okay so we have random person or situation hmm so there could be people here you don't even know <laughs> yeah karmic third party relationship lesson Archangel Michael protection prevented from harm divine intervention you don't even know this bitch <laughs> okay I'm just gonna start it off like that like you don't even know this person and they're I don't know what their problem is let's see what else what else for Scorpio so we have roller coaster, high as high, adrenaline rush, divine masculine, and then we have pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode. Ooh. So let's see what this is about here. This person, bottom of the deck is 411, phone number changed. So I feel like... I feel like this, okay, so this could be about your divine masculine, okay, or high divine masculine if you're watching, right? This person is dealing with somebody here that has, that's emotionally unstable. Somebody here gets a high off of fucking with this divine masculine or fucking with you, getting on your goddamn nerves. This person here has anger issues. They blow up at anything. Okay, I feel like somebody is just popping up somewhere. Wherever this person goes or wherever you go, someone is popping up. All right, you could have changed your phone number. It's like you don't, you're cutting this person off. You don't even want to be bothered with them and they're just everywhere. <laughs> okay, excuse me. Some of y'all need to really control your anger at this time. All right, let's see. What is this random person or situation? Let's see. <clears throat> What's random person or situation? What is this? Okay, to start in reverse. <laughs> Aquarius energy. So definitely someone here is in despair. They feel hopeless. They feel lost. Okay, someone is not getting a wish here. I don't know. This person could be sending you random people to try to kind of like draw you back into where they're at. Okay, something like that is going on here. I'm definitely getting like a boredom energy. Somebody is bored or uninterested in something with this star in reverse. Yeah, let's see what else for random with the star in reverse. the sun <laughs> somebody could be getting exposed could be dealing with the leo so definitely something is coming out here about someone here this person is they ain't liking that too much what else there's definitely some illumination here yeah the tower <laughs> so th this could be random people like talking about this or saying things about it or it's coming out in front of a whole group of people okay something is coming out here about somebody's ass you could be dealing with an aries leo or an aquarius yeah there's three majors out here already so let's see what's um somebody is losing their fame or their stardom here they had a lot of people giving them attention or whatever the fuck yeah <laughs> the three of cups with the death guard that's coming to a fucking end real fast whatever this is where they were being celebrated their glory days are over bitch <laughs> that shit is over let's see what's the star in reverse. <laughs> somebody here, somebody here could also, I'm getting, this person here could, could have been sleeping with a lot of people and could have caught something. Okay, damn. Okay, this, this person could have been sleeping with random people and it's coming out. Okay, yeah, the Queen of Swords. This could be a divorce here that you're going through. Could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarius. Flip it, you know, switch it. But I get all three air signs with this one. But I, I feel like it's um Libra. 
or Gemini. <laughs> uh, but anyways, with the Queen of Swords, yeah. So... I feel like you're cutting someone off here, this person. Yeah, someone is calling judgment on someone. Some of you guys could be bored with somebody or you're disinterested and you're cutting them off. It's like, I don't know, this could be a random person or somebody that you just met. Okay, but the Queen of Swords, let's see. Who is this Queen of Swords right here? This person. I just saw the moon was about to come out. What's this Queen of Swords? The judgment, yeah. I feel like there's going to be a random like pop up or something like that or some kind of like random situation or maybe you're going to attend an event or something with a lot of people and run into somebody randomly. OK, but the judgment talks about a karmic lesson that's been learned, too. I feel like you're making a decision. You could be very discerning about something because something is just not a wish fulfillment. It's just not going to work. Just period. And you're over it or you're you're very uninspired here. You're bored. You're tired of dealing with something. Okay, so you're cutting it off. I feel like you're calling judgment or whatever this could be. Okay, that's you, Scorpio, here with the judgment. Or it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is like making a decisive decision here and standing on your word about something. Because you've learned your lesson. What's the sun? You've learned a lesson about something. What's the sun here? Well, the fortune in reverse, yeah. Something. The devil. Mm-hmm. So something here is getting ready to be exposed and it's going to really like knock someone's socks off. <laughs> They're not going to like this change with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is a lot of unwelcome change, delays, setbacks. Okay, you're getting ready to find out the reason why something has been set back from you, why there has to had to have been so many changes. Okay. But there has definitely been delays and setbacks because of some devil here, some addiction or some kind of like toxicity that was in the in the midst of all of this. Okay, but the Wheel of Fortune talks about bad karma. Somebody's what somebody's going through is getting ready to be exposed. Okay, yeah, the moon, the ten of swords, yeah, whatever this was that was hitting behind the scenes, and this could be random something about random people. I don't know. What's the tower? The five of pentacles. What's the tower with the five of pentacles? Someone could have a Taurus Mercury. The hangman. So yeah, this is definitely an awakening. A sudden realization about something. Okay. So someone here is leaving someone out in the cold here. Because something is coming out about someone doing thing. I feel like somebody has been doing shit with random people. For some of you, someone did catch something is what I'm getting like really heavy. All right. Um, this talks about making a sacrifice or releasing something, letting it go here. Something that's been keeping you hemmed up or stuck. I feel like you're finally getting to see what it is about or why it's happened or who was behind all of this shit or whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, four of cups. This is Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, ten of wands. Somebody is definitely getting ready to feel the burden. Nine one one on the clock. Nine eleven. Mm. September could be significant. What's that? Um, what's in September? Virgo. Yeah, there go Virgo right here. The magician. That's Gemini too. Yeah, for some of you, yeah, somebody did catch something. They, they could be sick. Somebody could be sick. I don't know if it's an STD or what, but they're sick here or whatever. Mm -hmm. Someone is getting ready to be broke, left out in the cold here, struggling. Child, what's, um, what's the roller coaster? Highest high adrenaline rush. The death card, yeah, the ending of that. <laughs> okay, some somebody that has your emotions all up and down, all over the place, or whatever is having you feeling like that, you're putting an end to it. Okay, you could be just going through a transformation too, so you could be feeling like the up and down in your emotions. Like one minute you could be good, and the next minute you feel like crying. 
Okay, it's it's because something is definitely coming in for you, and you're definitely shedding. You know, you're shedding that old layer. Okay, and transforming, going through a rebirth here. What uh, what else for roller coaster with the death card? The page of cups. Yeah, and the three of cups. I told you there's something good coming in. Some of you guys are getting good news. This could be a reunion of some sort, a reconciliation. Okay, you could be meeting someone new with the page of cups for some of you. They could be younger than you. You guys could be making new friends, okay, going out more or whatever. But I feel like there's definitely a good news coming in, some kind of like reconciliation where someone wants to express their feelings following their heart. This could talk about the star in reverse, could talk about pessimism too. You could be a bit pessimistic about something or you just lost hope in something. You gave up on it, okay? But let's see, what's the um death card? The eight of cups, yeah, you're done. You're just so done. Something is, is just not emotionally fulfilling you just at all. I feel like, yeah, because I mean, if your feelings are all up and down like that, it's just that shit is over. Yeah, you want something stable, secure. Could be dealing with the Taurus, okay? But you're you're just done. You're not going up and down no more. You're going straight and that's it. You don't want to deal with the emotional roller coaster of whatever the fuck this is you're dealing with. It's just too much. So I feel like you you're going through like a like I said a death and rebirth. You are um, doing a lot of soul searching and introspection because I feel like you just have a desire for more. You're not you're not fucking with whatever the fuck this is. What's this page of cups? Who is this page of cups? Yeah, two of cups. Aw, your soulmate. Somebody's in love with you. <laughs> They're in love with you, Scorpio person is in love with you they could be shy like very like timid but they can smell every time i see the page of cups i just think that somebody smells so fucking good <laughs> whoever this is this person could be like slender they could have a um i feel like this person they could be like they could well i'm gonna say skinny okay but y'all know y'all know what they say about them 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 ones but anyway I don't know. They 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 dress really nice. So this person could be into fashion. They dress really like um bougie, quote unquote. Like for a man, like they might wear, I don't know, jewelry or they just dress really like um puts they're well put together here, really neat, very clean. <laughs> like this person, I don't know, but I feel like somebody could be like fine. <laughs> okay. I feel like this person here, they don't they don't know it though themselves. They could they could have been a bit insecure, could be a bit insecure about themselves. They don't really they, I feel like they're very quiet too. They have a quiet confidence, you know, but yeah, so this could be an apology or yeah, a Knight of Cups, a date, a proposal. Okay, yeah, they're coming fast as hell too. Ooh, whoever the fuck this person is. What's um for some of you it's within two months. Okay, maybe that not, might not be fast to y'all, but it's coming. Okay, you just need patience, I guess, while somebody goes through this change. But what's divine masculine? The fool, yes, they coming. Your divine masculine is gonna shape. They could be shaped like this. They could be shaped like that. Your person, <laughs> your person. Oh, we they could they could look. I feel like somebody underneath their clothes, like I don't know, maybe you wouldn't be able to tell if they put on clothes, but when they take them clothes off, something about this person's body is like I don't know, you like their body or the way that they look or something like that, or this is how they do you. I don't know how they feel about you. <laughs> it's time for me to go to bed, it's nine o'clock, honey. <laughs> but, um yeah this person is like they're gonna come in here smelling all good and ooh wee. so you could be feeling like up and down it's because this person is going through something you you guys can have a really strong connection so you feel this person's emotions when they're going through shit or whatever <laughs> you know so what's the what's the divine masculine with the fool so they getting ready to take this leap of faith they're setting themselves free from something okay yeah the page of swords they planning they strategizing <laughs> Oh, what? It could be an Aquarius. What's the Divine Masculine with the Page of Swords and the Fool? They watching you, honey. Yeah, the King of Cups. Ooh, wee. They can have Scorpio on their chart. This could be about them. <laughs> or you, this could be you. Flip switch it. <laughs> but 
<laughs> but this person is in love with you. They is in love with you. They is in love with you. Ooh, ooh. They is in love with you. <laughs> I'm making up my own song. Y'all like that song though? I think I make pretty good music. They is in love with you. Ooh, ooh. They is in love with you. Ooh, look at the Queen of Cups. They is your match. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Wands, Queen of Cups. They coming. <laughs> Man, that is coming, bro. I, I cannot. But the patient swords is definitely this person. They're watching you. They're strategizing. They're planning. Like they've got their eyes set on you. All right. Or so somebody's watching them. Let's see. Who's the page of swords? <laughs> Yo, yes. Center Pentacles, baby. They planning for this stability with you. Yeah, they, they they watching you. They trying to figure out like... For some of you, this person has to tell you the truth though. They could have had a family or they could have been married <laughs> for some of you. Okay, let's not ruin the vibes. Okay, with this bullshit. But I feel like they have to tell you the truth. They're trying to figure out how to tell you something. For some of you, it could be... It could be their feelings too, along with other shit, right? But this is what their goal is. This in a pentacles to build this empire, to get married. They see you as the end-all, be-all. I mean, that's it. The Ten of Pentacles is everything. Okay, so... Mm-mm. Suck it, suck it now. Who's the pressure cooker? Somebody could be making pot roast. <laughs> I, well, pressure, I, just, I just heard pot roast. Because I have... What do I have that thing? I, I cooked some good-ass pot roast on Thanksgiving last year. It's a... um. I forgot. It's not one of them crock pots. It's something else that I gotta cook. I gotta cook it on a different thing, and it's in a pressure cooker. I forgot what else. What what it's called, honey? But it was good as hell. <laughs> Nine nineteen on a uh, clock. What's pressure cooker? The devil. Oh, somebody is mad. <laughs> it could be a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Let's see. What else for pressure cooker? With the devil. This person is. Okay. Oh, Ace of Cups. <laughs> what else for pressure cooker? This person. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. Somebody is getting ready to. Ex they been ready to tell you how they feel about you. This devil could be fear. It could be fear that's holding this person back. Let's see. What's the devil? Or this is this toxic energy over here that's getting ready to get exposed. What's the devil? <laughs> What's the devil? Why why is that here? The Knight of Cups. Why is it the devil with the Knight of Cups? Could be dealing with a Pisces, the Hermit. <laughs> Virgos here. Yeah, the Knight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, somebody here is um blocking this 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 hole that's a pressure cooker. They're blocking them out. Cause someone is angry. Somebody here is angry about who you're getting ready to go towards or this person getting ready to come towards you. I feel like they're definitely being silent about it too. This person is quiet as hell. They like, uh-uh, you're not gonna fuck up what I got going on, little, little whore. <laughs> no, no, no. Absolutely the fuck not, baby. So, yeah, this person is quietly doing whatever the fuck they gotta do. But somebody is mad, though. They're mad. I feel like also this person... They can't hold back their feelings for you anymore. They they feel this temptation. I feel like, yeah, that's what that is, the devil. I feel like, too, it's, it's temptation here. This person is, like, burning with passion for you. Okay. For some of you, this could be your twin. <laughs> I'm getting that with this fire. But for others of you, you know, whoever the fuck this is, they tired of being quiet. They are tired. What's this page of principles? This could be a gift, something material coming towards you, like a gift or money. Or this could be good news, too, coming in with, as far as your finances. But with the Page of Pentacles, yeah, the hot child, it's a commitment. Ten of Cups, the King of Swords. This person is, you could be dealing with a Taurus. That's your opposite sign, Scorpio. So, yeah, this person is ready to commit. This is so nice. I enjoyed this reading. I really did. I really did. So let's see. 
what else could be coming out here so this person getting ready to propose for some of you you getting ready to get proposed to or this is what the, this person is starting off slow and they want this to go into the higher fan they want this to go into something long term okay i feel like this person is coming in loyal ready to build with you like they coming with something you know it's better than nothing just period you get so sick and tired of people coming with the bare fucking minimum or nothing to give at all i feel like they're testing the waters they're testing the waters but this person here could too be learning something as well they're learning a lesson here some of you guys could be tarot readers you're spiritualists okay spiritual gurus of some sort yeah i just saw reconciliation <laughs> not surprised so let's see some of y'all you're getting ready to be in a relationship by Taurus season, Virgo season. <laughs> Y'all getting ready to be booed the fuck up. Yeah, cold. Left out in the cold, one-sided. Yeah, somebody is leaving someone out. Okay, whoever the fuck this is. <sighs> Random person or situation. Somebody is random to somebody. Wow. What, what else? <laughs> obsessed yeah spying social media infatuation distance physical distance emotional distance and fire sign aries leo sagittarius so someone here is um leaving a fire sign out in the cold here someone could be moving they're traveling they're trying to get the fuck away from this person bro it's <laughs> like no no funny shit they are really somebody's really trying to get away what else they could be sending random people to spy on this person or spy on you here. What else, spirit? Because they want to see what's going on. Bitch, you see it? Yeah, karmic partner. Past life ties, lessons, a wrong timing, wait. And then we have redemption, needing forgiveness, redeem oneself. Yeah, healing. Inner child, shadow work, introspection. So it's been a karmic partner in here. There, there, something happened in the wrong time between you and someone. But you are a part of this person's sole purpose. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so things have always happened in the wrong timing. I feel like something is going to be in perfect time. And it, when this reconciliation happens, it's going to be voila, perfect. Like, <laughs> perfecto, perfecta, perfecto, whatever. It's about to be perfect, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Yeah, somebody just waiting for that green light. What else? <laughs> what else so we have meditation meditate intuition introspection manifesting and then we have betrayal deception dishonesty and cheating yeah for some of you this person was cheating on here <laughs> your divine masculine they were cheated on or this is you okay this person was betrayed somehow this person this karmic whoever the fuck they're dealing with is dangerous this person could drink a lot they could have a weapon okay i advise everybody to have a weapon <laughs> but I'm saying this person here is dangerous. This is definitely giving past life vibes. This picture on here. So somebody had to clear out past life karma dealing with this karmic. Yeah, this is why they ran away from you. Now they have clarity. Now they can see the truth about something. What else? Okay, divine masculine coming out again. Yeah, it's day ass about to explode. This person, yeah, marriage, forever commitment, rejection. And then we have, it's safe for you to love. Take action, leap of faith, and safe. This person is scared to be rejected by you. This They're they scared. They can't hold back no more, though. I feel like both of y'all are about to, like, say something to one another. <laughs> okay? Like, this is so painful to keep holding back. Somebody's, like, in pain about, like, what's rejection? Or for some of you, like I said, they're rejecting this third party, this crazy ass person. Yeah, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, what else for rejection? Proposal, a lot about commitment, honey. Marriage, love, business offer or engagement, take action, good change. And then we have past life connection. Bottom of the deck is commitment, <laughs> offer of loyalty and agreement. Ooh. Y'all finna sign a contract. Y'all finna sign a contract, Scorpio. Y'all about to be booed up for the summer. <laughs> I know that don't go together, but love don't wait, honey. You get get together, it don't even matter. 
the seasons don't matter. This is the right season for you and this person to be together. I love I love when love wins over all this karmic shit and when people change. Oh, that's so perfect. There's nothing like a person that does the work to change. Okay, because you're not going to get nobody perfect. You're just not. You're just not. <clears throat> you're not. But when somebody really puts that work in to change their ways, child, you know, you, you got me sold. <laughs> I'm yours forever. I'm yours forever. What else? Oh, shit. Waiting game. So how long will you continue to wait? If you find you're not receiving what you want from your twin or your person, it's time to practice self-love and walk away. Yeah, I feel like you walked away from this person here. <laughs> you walked away because you got tired of waiting. That's what you were supposed to do. For some of you, this is a twin flame dynamic here. But for others of you, that waiting game is like this person was waiting on someone to change their ways. And I feel like this has really been the last and final straw. Okay, what this karmic did is it, is over with. It's done. You can't even come back from whatever the fuck this is. <clears throat> so let's see, marriage. Ooh, with great patience, you will achieve the commitment you're looking for. This will be the kind of love many will only dream of finding. Yeah, this karmic knows that, honey. Because when you get up in the when you step up in the scene, baby, <laughs> you yeah, wow. <laughs> but when you step up in the scene, it's 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 on and popping. They already know. That's why they kept trying to tie this person to get with them. But we have false hope, unexpected events, and false twin flame. So definitely this person is finding out that they're, they've been with a false person. They could have gotten married to this person. Okay, for some of you, they married the wrong motherfucker. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. Forgiveness, regret, differences. Yeah. They, they, they got with the wrong person here. This comic then really... Did a number on this person, but that's their karma. They have to like go through this here. They didn't handle it in the past life, so now they got to do it here. Losing identity. You feel like you are slowly losing yourself in the process of loving them and forgetting that you are also deserving of love. And I feel like that's what this masculine is realizing about himself or herself. Okay, this person is realizing that they deserve real love here. They, 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 this person has lost themselves dealing with this fucking karmic. Okay. What else? Reunion. Who just had that, Virgo? <laughs> they had that on this side. It says, both of you have learned a lot about yourselves and understand the potential of your connection. This reunion will be physical in nature. Yeah, it's coming in. It's coming in. It's coming in. Oh, it's coming in. Yeah, it's coming in. It's coming. It's coming in. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm I'm done with this reading, y'all. I'm sleepy. I am really sleepy. I know y'all can hear it in my voice, but I wanted to do these readings so I can have me a free day tomorrow. And I'll probably do some more readings because I like doing my readings. So <laughs> I don't know. But this is your reading, Scorpio. Very nice reading. Very fun reading. Okay. I hope you guys um, enjoy your reunion. Congrats, guys. It looks like you're getting ready to be booed up in a couple months, days. Who knows? But this, with all these pentacles, it did take a long time. With these, a lot of these cups are months. Okay. This, even years. For some of you, yeah, that should take a little time. Okay. This page of pentacles shit, it might take a little minute to get to, get to you too. But, you know, it's it's coming. It's, it's solid. So that's why it's taking so long. <laughs> all right. You know, love is patient. Love is kind. All right. But this is your reading. This is Scorpio. I love you all. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button um, so you won't miss any of my readings for when I post. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.